For the next 30 days, I'm going to be training as scientifically optimal as possible to find out just what the natural limits for muscle growth in a single month really are. And these are my before stats. You're not training correctly, is what these guys would tell you. They do it differently. I have only been training my chest once per week for five sets, and I've experienced the best growth in the shortest amount of time that I ever have. The rest times are huge too, right? You want to make sure you're averaging three to five minutes. I'm doing here is a technique called long-length partials. As of now, there are five studies, four of them favored long-length partials, and one study found no difference. AKA, 100% to a T, the most scientifically optimal way to train for muscle growth. And for the next 30 days, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. It is said to give experienced lifters newbie gains all over again. So let's find out if that's true. After getting in my measurements for a before and after the 30 days began now to get best results you need to partner optimal training with a few more things so day one began with a high calorie smoothie what hello mate you getting a video no a stretch a dog walk to help the digestion of that smoothie another healthy meal and then it was time for the first workout okay we are at the gym it is time for the first optimal workout of the 30 days i'm quite excited The main thing that I was worried about with this is that it would be a little bit boring, but with the first workout out of the way and that not being the case. Okay, that is the workout done. Um, best leg day I've done in a very long time. So I'm very excited to finish these 30 days now because yeah, if that is anything to go by, this is going to be a very enjoyable and hypertrophic month. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't know if that's a word, but I've said it now. Yeah, I was very excited. So I'm currently halfway through a back, shoulders and arm session. I know that's weird, I'll explain in a bit. Um, and I wasn't planning on filming anything other than just that one set, but I had to comment on this. So it is only my second time training back since doing this, but my lifts have already progressed quite significantly. So last week for upper back row, I did 70 kilos for nine reps. This session, I did 75 for 10 that is more weight and more reps over just one session's progress <laughs> how does that make any sense all right we are officially over a week into this thing so let's see if we've made any progress so far Now, I don't know about you, but I can't see much difference in the physique at all so far. But what I didn't expect to not see much difference in is the weight, because I am exactly the same weight as I was this time last week. But um, before I explain why that is and what I'm going to do because of that, <laughs> I'm absolutely starving because I haven't ate yet, obviously. So I'm going to go and make my breakfast. Okay, so as we just saw, my weight hasn't increased over the last seven days, and that is not good news. Um, I'm meant to be in a calorie surplus right now because, you know, eating in a small surplus is the most optimal way to gain muscle without getting really fat. But, you know, maintaining my weight means that I've just been at maintenance. So for the next three weeks, I get to eat more food, which is good news. I just wish I was on the right amount of calories before. So yeah. Ten days in and I was feeling myself. Definitely up there with the best I have ever looked. Alright then, it is two weeks in. Let's see what we're weighing in at. Oh, now that is a bit more like it. 163.75. I think that works out to in pounds. So yeah, the weight is going up again. It's probably a little bit of water weight because I only started bulking at all a little bit before these 30 days. So I'm still going to be putting on the initial amount of water that you put on when you start bulking. So we're going to have to wait and see for the end of this to work out how much of it is actually muscle. But it's a good sign. 
Oh. You thought it was just training we were optimizing in this month. No. We're optimizing everything. So much better. And I've got the blue light glasses to match it. On day 19, I noticed something that I had never seen before on me. I could be wrong, but I believe these are stretch marks. Now you get these when your like body tissues are growing faster than your skin can adapt and grow to like fit those tissues in, which means we were making some serious shoulder gains and I was buzzing. Oh, I'll tell you, okay, yeah, legit. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty sore today from how hard just this training is. So let's do some recovery. I also have my first first team debut for my rugby team tomorrow. So yeah, I, I really can't afford to be aching. So let's, let's do some recovery work. Specifically, we did some stretching and foam rolling with my electric vibrating foam roller, which by the way, if you're interested, discount code, link, etc., all in the description. Oh, and that is the evening's cardio done. And we are doing cardio in the evenings now because even just doing cardio, of course, has some stipulations for it to be optimal. Those being that it is done at least five hours after a weight session. Fantastic. Three weeks down, we have, we're nearly done. Oh, okay, 30 days are officially over. Pretty enjoyable, um, but that's not the point of this. Let's weigh in, measure ourselves for... Physique? Physique check for one last time. I'm quite, I'm quite excited actually. First up is weight. 164.6 pounds, which is actually about exactly where I'd want to be. Potentially three pounds of pure muscle growth. Potentially. Let's see if it looks like that's what's happened. I'm definitely not any leaner, obviously. I was bulking, so it was always going to be hard to look much better. But I feel like I look bigger. Measurements. Growth across every single muscle group. And this, this seems pretty accurate because the shoulders are what grew the most. And they are what had the stretch marks. However, of course, there is still a chance that, say, my arms, for example, grew because... I gained fat, not muscle. So there is only one conclusive way to tell if it is three pounds of muscle growth and if training as optimally as possible is actually worth it. Strength comparison. Now I uh, mentioned at the start of this thing, after just one back session, my upper back row went from 70 to 75, but with more reps as well. And I was pretty impressed with that. Well, if we look here and we find the start of optimal, optimal 30 starts, this was only for the sessions that I did in my home gym, by the way, um, <laughs> ignore the handwriting. There, 70 for nine, 70 for nine. Now let's go to the optimal end, 100 for six, upper back row. <laughs> um, that's mental, it went up by 30 kilos in 30 days. And that's an exercise, like, it's not just one that I did for the first time when starting this. I'd been doing that for, like, a good few weeks, yet I still <laughs> increased it by 30 kilos. And to be honest, similar progress has been seen across the board for a lot of different exercises. Yeah, um, the strength improvements were crazy. And P.S. If you want to use the training program that I used in this month yourself, then it is out right now on my brand new website, Midas Touch Fitness, along with many other things. Check it out. Thanks for watching.